Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023. And I actually have two methods to solving this problem. So the first method is, well, we start by having x to the power of x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023. Now, I'm going to set x to the power of 2023 equal to the variable y. So if this is true, then I would have Now, if I take the power of 1 over 2023 on both sides, I get x to the power of 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023 is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2023. Then, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m times n. So now x to the power of 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023, that's going to equal, well, in this case, a is equal to x, m is equal to 2023, and n, this is equal to 1 over 2023. So I would have a or sorry, a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 2023 times 1 over 2023. Now, 1 over 2023 is the reciprocal of 2023. And reciprocals, they obviously cancel out. So 2023 divided by 2023 is obviously 1. So then I am left with x to the power of 1 is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2023. Now, x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x, so I have x is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2023. Alright, so now now that we have our value for x, well, remember how our original equation was x to the power of x, x to the power of x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023. And remember how we set y is equal to x to the power of 2023. So now if y is equal to x to the power of 2023, then we have x to the power of 2023 right here. So I'm going to replace that with y. So now I have x to the power of y is equal to 2023. Now remember, x, this is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2023. So if this is true, now I can replace x with y to the power of 1 over 2023. And then I have this to the power of y, which is equal to 2023. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And a to the power of m times n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this would also equal a to the power of n times m, because for multiplication, order doesn't matter. Meaning, a to the power of m to the power of n, this would equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So you can switch the order of the two. So in this case, for y to the power of 1, 000, 1 over 2023 to the power of y, I'll switch the order. So now I have y to the power of y to the power of 1 over 2023. And this is equal to 2023. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 2023 on both sides. So I have y to the power of y to the power of 1 over 2023 
to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023 to the power of 2023. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this would equal y to the power of y to the power of 1 over 2023 times 2023. And this is equal to 2023 to the power of 2023. So then these two would cancel out. So then I would be left with y to the power of y is equal to 2023 to the power of 2023. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b as long as b is greater than or equal to 1, which in this case, b is 2023, which is greater than or equal to 1, meaning y is equal to 2023. However, we are not done yet because y isn't what we're solving for. We are solving for x. And remember, we set y equal to x to the power of 2023. So if y is equal to x to the power of 2023, and if y is equal to 2023, then I have 2023 is equal to x to the power of 2023. Now I can take the power of 1 over 2023 on both sides. So now I have 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023 is equal to x to the power of 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023. So then these two cancel out, and I would be left with 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023 is equal to x. Now I have a second method to solve this problem. So my second method is, well, remember, our original equation was x to the power of x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023. Now, if x to the power of x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023, and, well, we have a 2023 right here, right? So if 2023 is equal to x to the power of x to the power of 2023, then this is the same thing as x to the power of x. And then 2023, well, this is equal to x to the power of x to the power of 2023. So then I have x to the power of x to 2023. And then I would have to replace 2023 again with x to the power of x to the power of 2023. So this would actually be infinite, infinitely going on and on and on. So if it infinitely goes on and on, then I can just set this as x to the power of 2023 is equal to 2023. And I can set all these x's as simply just x. So now if this is true, I can now simply take the power of 1 over 2023 on both sides. These two will cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 2023 to the power of 1 over 2023. So this is a much simpler and faster solution to solving this problem. So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of this problem. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my problem here. So 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. And to start off, I'm going to rewrite 19 here as 18 plus 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. And 
if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. Now from here, because I have two terms that are the same, I can factor out 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1, and negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so I get 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 as my answer. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back, our, originally pro our original problem was 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18, right? And what we did was we wrote 19 as 18 plus 1. And we solved it by factoring out 2 to the power of 18. So now, what if instead of rewriting 19, I rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 19 minus 1. Now, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to rewrite 19 minus 1 as 19 plus negative 1. Now, I can still use that property that states that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 19 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. So I can still do it. Now from here, my greatest common factor from these two terms is 2 to the power of 19. So I get 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1 which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18.